welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here today. Just a quick reminder before I get started, don't forget to subscribe. I'm bringing you this wig review today for PinkyPromise.com. Today we're going to take a look at a beautiful style by Beltress. This is Stumptown and the color on this one is Root Beer Float Blonde. More on her in just a minute. Let's start taking a look at Stumptown. So what a pretty style. I have never tried this one and uh, Pinky Promise realized that they didn't have a review for this one either. So we decided to uh, get a review out for this, this one. And oh gosh, it's so pretty. And this Root Beer Float Blonde, I forget how much I love this beautiful color. It is just so pretty too. So, uh, so you know, she is heat friendly. Uh, not too long, so it should be fairly easy to maintain. The one thing I like about her is she has wave, but it's up here at the top of the style, y'all. Down here, it's just straight. So when you start to get some wear on these ends, just go over them with that flat iron, and they're meant to be straight, and I like it. Now, of course, if you don't like the super straight ends, you could add a little more curl to this since it is heat friendly, So, but really, really cute. So I'll do a turn so you can see her all the way around. Okay, so she is a lace front with a left mono part. Of course, the lace looks really good on this particular color. Tiny knots, light colors. Uh, the part on this one was a little difficult to open, but you know, with the wavy nature of the style, I just kind of said, forget about it. You don't have to have a perfect part on you know a style like this because it's got some wave up here, just a little bit of wave to the top, and the waves you know go from here and up so it's okay if you can't get that silly zigzag all the way open you know so don't stress over every little zigzag part i guess is the thing so okay ear tabs i have great coverage around the ear tabs ear tabs have plenty of hair on them so there's no sparseness which i like so really really nice so as far as the fit this is fitting me fine ear to ear typical of beltress Fitting me fine forehead to navel, although it's definitely average and there's extra room for those of you with larger, you know, head, head circumferences. I did pull the adjusters in for the circumference for my 21 inch circumference. So, you know, it definitely is made for average and above average, but for my petite friends, pull those adjusters in and you should be okay. Okay, let's look at her measurements. So here in the front, we have a 12 inch layer. Uh, the nape has a six inch layer. And then they give an overall measure of 12 to 14 inches. So throughout the style, it's almost all one length, as you can see. So there's a 12 inch in here that's just slightly shorter. You can see it there. And then we go to a 14 inch. So really pretty. Weight-wise, 4.8 ounces, nice and lightweight. Really cute style. Okay, I'll pop her off and we can look at the interior of her cap. This is the interior of her cap. So we have a left mono part. It goes back to the crown, which I like. She has, an, her uh, lace front is not extended like some of the newer styles, but it goes from the top of the ear tab to the top of the ear tab. Still looks nice. She's got the soft belt ear tabs with a nice piece of metal in there. Open wefting all through the cap. Pull adjusters that you can see I did pull in. And then she has a soft uh, belt strip here. She does not have an extended nape, which her nape is six inches. I kind of like to see an extended nape but it's okay. The nape seems to be laying fine and everything. So, okay, there's plenty of stretch. These caps are very stretchy, so they accommodate a lot of head sizes, which is really nice. Okay, let's take a look at this beautiful color. So this is the Root Beer Float Blonde. Like I said, one of my favorite blondes by them. It's so pretty. It's got a lot of dimension and um, just really, really pretty. And it's more of a neutral blonde. Um, leans just a little bit cool. I know that some of you that like cool colors really like this blonde. So, um, you know, I just think it's a very natural looking blonde, very pretty. So, okay, so description wise for Root Beer Float Blonde, multi-dimensional neutral blend of pearl blonde, beige blonde, and champagne blonde with platinum highlights and a medium ash brown roots. Lots of blondes in there. So, but Beltrus likes to do that. They like to put a lot of different colors going, you know, through their shades and uh, they're very creative with their colors, which I really like. So 
So here's your rooting. Now, of course, at your lace front, they do place the um, lighter colors there, a little hair under the cap. And then as you go down, you start to see that rooting going down the ear tabs. Anywhere you separate the hair for styling, you're gonna see that rooting color as well. Okay, let's step outside and we'll check it out outdoors. If you're float blonde outdoors, I am under my patio cover. You can see the rooting. There's your lace. So now I am in the shade, just on the edge of the patio, and then I'll step into the sun. Okay, we can look at glasses and styling. So she's easy to tuck behind the ears. Some wavy styles don't tuck behind the ears that easily, so she is easy. That's one way, you know, if you just need to look down and get the hair out of your face, that's really nice, so. Okay, so glasses are easy with her. Go up on the head, no problem. Of course, you could also just untuck the ears and just put the glasses in the style as well. If you're going to tuck and put your glasses up like your sunglasses, I would tuck behind the ears first and then mess with the glasses, so. Okay, we can look at a headband with her. So the bang layer is long enough to stay back in the headband, which is nice. But if you want to, you can also pull a layer out. And remember, you can add curls. So, you know, you could leave, that's a little too much, but you get the gist. Um, you know, you could leave it just the way it is, or you could add more curl to it. Just know that if you add more curl to it, then that it's going to remember, you know, it's going to stay until you go back and maybe try to flatten it back out to look like the rest of the style. So I would probably just leave it just like that. So, okay, and she has plenty of length to go half up, half down. You could also get her up off your neck with a pony or a twist. Something like a pony, but the, the way she styled the ponies, and she doesn't have an extended nape, remember, so pull your nape down. But you could twist her. Then I think she'd look kind of cool. Leave those spiky, you know, pieces back there. Cool. She's pretty. And then, um, you know, of course, you can always wear, you just pulled up, you know, her, wear her pulled back away from your lace front. So really, really pretty. So I think she's a cute style. Thank you to Pinky Promise for sending this style to review for you all today. There'll be purchase information in the drop down box down below the video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.